Hi everyone. In this video, I'll be troubleshooting this particular problem. I see the VDA machine in my lab environment. It is an unregistered, unregistered state at the moment. So I'll be trying to solve this problem. I'll try to make it registered. Okay, so the very first thing that we can do is uh, we can check the status of this machine. This machine is in power on state. This VDA machine is already in power on state. So let's go and check the machine. Okay, so this is the backend hypervisor environment, Zen server. So this is the VDA machine that we are trying to, you know, troubleshoot the problem. So if you see here, it is Citrix VDA machine 01. Okay. So if you come back here, it is Citrix VDA machine 01. So if you check the status here, this machine is up. This machine is up. So, uh, but for whatever reason, this machine is in unregistered state. So what we can do is we can try to log into this machine and see what is happening. Okay, let me hit send control all delete. Okay, and I'm going to maximize the screen for a second. Now let's see what's going to happen. Okay, I'm going to log into this machine now. Okay, I'm trying to sign in. Let's see how it goes. Okay, it says uh, the username or password is incorrect. Let me try once again. Let me log in as local admin. Let me, okay. Okay, it's not taking. Let me try once again. It should work now, mostly. Yeah, we, we can we can sign in now. So once we log into the machine, we can start troubleshooting. We can check why this machine is not communicating with the delivery controller. Okay, so. Let me go to desktop, yes. Okay, let me check the status of this machine, okay. Okay, the very first thing that I would like to do is I would like to check the services. Okay, you see services here. We'll just click on services. So once the services is up, we can check the status of the services. Okay. All right, so let me sort it by saying automatic. Okay, if you see here, Citrix desktop service, all Citrix related services are up and running fine. So what we can do is, let me go to network connections, okay? So all the services are up and running fine.
Okay, now let's go to the network connections. What I'm going to do is I'm going to type ncpa.cpl. So this will take us to the network connection, LAN connection. Okay, let's see. Okay, if you see here, this machine is out of domain. Okay, this machine seems like it is out of domain. So let me right click quickly. Click on properties. Click on IPv4. Okay. Uh, let's see if this machine is communicating with the domain controller or not. Okay. So this is the domain controller. Let me log in quickly. Okay, so yeah, seems like we can log in. So I want to check the connectivity from here to domain controller. So let me quickly open command prompt or Windows PowerShell. IP config. Okay, this is taking a while, so please bear with me. Yeah. So if you see now on the screen, you see IP config, let me hit enter. Okay, the IP address is 192.168.160.214. If I let me maximize it. Okay, 192.168.160.214. Okay, so let me try to ping 192.168.160.214 hyphen T. It's not pinging. Yeah, it's not pinging. So that could be the problem. It says request timed out. So let, let me check the IP address of this machine. Okay, the IP address is 192.168.42.133. So this could be the problem. So what I would like to do is let me assign an IP address manually and see how it goes. 192.168.42.133. Sorry, 161.57. Let's say 157. Okay, let me click OK. Let me click OK. Okay, let's see. So it is taking time, so please bear with me. Okay, so we have, you know, assigned the IP address uh, manually. So if you right click and if you click on properties here, and if you click on IPv4 here, I have assigned an IP address. Okay, let me close, let me close. Okay, now let me ping the domain controller now okay let me ping the domain controller let me scroll down scroll this down command
command prompt. Okay, now I'm going to ping the domain controller once again, okay? Okay, so this is the domain controller. I'm going to hit enter. So if you see now, it is pinging successfully. Okay, seems like the machine is pinging. We could connect to the domain controller and this machine is a member of the domain now. Now what we can do is let's go back to uh, Citrix Studio Console. Okay, so this is Citrix Studio Console. So we can just do a quick refresh now and see, okay? So the machine was in unregistered state. So the machine has been added to the domain. If you see now, the machine is in registered state. Okay, the machine is in registered state. So these kind of you know issues you will come across in the Citrix environment. So you know if uh, you know if the machine is out of the domain or if the machine if the machine has issues connecting with the firewall, you know connecting with the connecting to the other servers if there is some firewall which is blocked you will come across these kind of issues all right so it, it is always good to have the connectivity between the uh, video machines and desktop delivery controllers video machines and domain controllers so the machine sh should communicate with other machines if there is any uh, if there is any port that is blocked or if the machine is not part of the domain then you will not be able to communicate the video machines with the controller so 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 we could solve this problem this machine is part of the domain now and once the machine is part of the domain uh, the machine got registered all right so i really hope you find this information helpful thank you for watching i will catch you in the next video bye bye